welcome to a live Shaw Sports presentation. Sevens action here. St. Michael's University School in blue against arch rival Oak Bay in the green and black. Kickoff by Oak Bay and spilled by, by Smoo. And we've got a knock on first scrum of the game. I'm Ian Heidley here with uh, Commissioner of BC Schools Rugby, Walter Van Holst. Uh, looking forward for a great evening here at Centennial Stadium. Girls sevens and then followed by the, the boys first 15 game. It's a beautiful night for a game. First scrum here for uh, Oak Bay. And it's hooked but cleanly, but snaffled up by s s the SMU number nine. Ava O'Connor. And again, another knock on and quick turnaround. We've got some uh, terrific players. Uh, look, look out for Oak Bay number one, Katie McKenzie, as well as number five, Marley Robinson. And for SMU, number eight, packing at the loose head prop here, Jess None. And number nine, Chloe Hill Hughes. And there's Marley on Marley Robinson on the charge. Very well tackled by number three. And Pilford Oak Bay just scrambling the ball back at the breakdown. It looks like there's another turnover. Smooth ball, a bit of a chance up the left. Chloe Hill Hughes, and now we're on the outside. Nona on the outside. There goes number 18, Dasha Tosova, and she's away. She's going to register the first first points of the evening. Smooth turning the ball over at the breakdown, moving it to the right. Just some simple passing with the three on two, and Tosova, who is impressed in preseason training, registers the first score after two minutes. Coaches for the respective teams. Uh, for SMU, coaches are Spencer Robinson and Ian Farish. And for Oak Bay, Roger Robinson and Cappy Bataki. <laughs> and of course in sevens, unlike 15s, the team that scores the try gets to kick off as well. And a real art form restarts, so important in the game. And here's a chance for SMU to regather, and they do, beautiful kickoff. Number two, Kenzie Farish on her way. Ball's on the outside, and a fantastic try. Right off the kickoff. Number nine, Abe O'Connor, she finishes off. And just showing the value of the restart. It's a beautiful kick that dropped just on the 10. Popped up nicely to Smoo. And with space to play, moved away up the left side, registered a second score. And they lead 10 nil. Hill Hughes to take the kickoff again. And just possession in sevens is so vital and so important. Pressure on Oak Bay here to uh, gather this restart and try to put a bit of play together themselves. Uh, just almost a carbon copy on a sixpence by Hill Hughes. Picked up on the bounce. Try for number two, Kenzie Farish. And it just happened so quickly. Beautiful restarts right on the 10 meters. Good chase, favorable bounce, and a third try. And we've got conversion attempt. Bit of banter as uh, Smoo running back into position. And Oak Bay will want to do a little better job on the catching these kicks at, if they choose to play it before it 
gets to the 10 meter, they are allowed to do so. They kind of waited fatally twice in a row and the ball popped up to Smoo. And with the successful conversion, an early lead after five minutes of 17 nil. Finally, possession for Oak Bay. On the charge, there's Robinson picking up and ball's moving way to the left. Very, very good tackle by Smoo. And the ball's popped forward and lost, and now there's a chance on counterattack. Probably be just if Smoo can clear this ruck. The advantage probably should be over now, just seven possessions, everything. Extra men, three on one. Pass a little behind the receiver, but player on the outside with space and has the angle. Oak Bay coming across, but it is a fourth try. A fourth try. Dasha Tosova, who opened the scoring. She notches her brace at the six minute mark, taking Smoo up to 22 to nil. An impressive start for St. Michael's tonight. Well, it's all about, as you know, Walter Sevens is just all about possession. And literally, other than a little flurry at the start, Oak Bay's had not had their hands on the ball. And when they have had, they've lost possession. And Smoo has been quick to move it away into the open spaces. And they got a little bit more gas on the outside. And uh, four tries has been the result as we near the end of the first half. The thing about sevens is it can just change so quickly. Uh, as we saw, we just obviously have just come back off a fantastic performance by Canada at the Vancouver Sevens last weekend. And uh, the, every one of their games just seemed to ebb and flow and uh, you know, two and three scores leads were not safe. Here's another ball, kicks a little deep. Well gathered by Oak Bay. Well tackled and on there, it's another little bit of an off, little bit of a knock on there. A typically Marley Robinson usually very good pair of hands. Uh, that one slips away, and again, it's just possession as uh, Smooth start to ring the changes a little bit. like number two, Charlotte Kessler's in the game now. Oak Bay's taking the ball. Again, another bobble, but they've reco recovered the ball. Good clean out. But some runners off the ball's pretty, pretty stationary there, and the ball's turned over again. Great cover tackle by Oak Bay. The ball's laid back by Smooth. It should be, should be space here. Should be space. Slipped it away. Beautiful pass. Charlotte Kessler moves it away. Great, another excellent tackle by Oak Bay. Well produced by Oak Bay by Smoo around the corner and in for her third score. <laughs> Yet another score to uh, take the score to 29 nil as the first half comes to an end. Surprisingly uh, one-sided game here, but it's all about the possession. Uh, Smooth's managed to hang on to the ball pretty well, and uh, Oak Bay has struggled in that regard. A lot of errors and the disastrous consequences. Looks like referee John DeGoody has... Uh, Decided there's still time for one more play. It'd be nice to see if Oak Bay can get their hands on the ball, and put some uh, put some passes together. Ian, with the growth of sevens, is the sport as popular with girls as boys in Southern Ireland? Yeah, it's very hugely popular. A lot of teams reg uh, registered for the Langford Sevens tomorrow. Okay. And uh, it's just it's it's such a fantastic game to sort of learn the skills and uh, uh, as we look at. The ball slipping forward again from Oak Bay. 
as John DeGuti blows halftime. No, it's, uh, it's growing rapidly. Um, and there's just so much more space for the, for the girls to play. Uh, everyone's just getting you know, more touches. Um, and a lot of really good coaches in the area are involved at the uh, high school level with the girls' teams. And uh, the level is just uh, growing every year. Players are getting better. The teams are getting better. The games are getting better. And uh, obviously, you know, you start, start, start from the top down. You look at the national women's seven. Right. You know, this is a legitimate medal contender uh, Absolutely. at Olympic level. Uh, it, uh, you know, it, it, uh, there's this real, real dynamic. We got a break here. Halftime, SMUS 29 and Oak Bay nil. Shaw Spotlight's mission is to celebrate, engage, and connect our communities, sharing a broad spectrum of in-depth stories featuring fascinating people, interesting places, and inspiring stories from across our amazing country. Canada is home to vast diversity, heartwarming humanity, and unforgettable experiences, all of which can be viewed anytime, anywhere, on our social channels. We were coming to a point where schooling was ending. It would be nice to put father time on hold and do adolescent teenage projects for forever. We weren't going to be able to hang out and, and play music four or, four, four or five nights a week together anymore. Since it was a big piece of my life that was gone, and yeah, it's hard to sort of fill that void, that's for sure. And so we were kind of on, on hold, and we thought maybe permanently. And I don't know how this came about, but some people got a copy of the CD that we had done. What? Then there was a couple people that were, wait a second, you guys are actually okay. You guys should play a gig. So we kept our chops up and so we just thought, well, let's get back together, see if we can remember some of the songs, first of all. And, and you know, we had a couple of rehearsals and it was sounding pretty good. And said, let's, uh, let's put on a show. And it's all inside my head. This my is Shaka Marie. Okay, here we are back at UVic's beautiful Centenni Centennial Stadium. Gorgeous evening for rugby, perfect conditions. And the second half of SMUS and Oak Bay, the girls' sevens, and an impressive first half for Smooth, who got their hands on the ball and registered five tries with two conversions. And second half, second half opens with, uh, we've got Jess Nona, number eight for Smooth, penalized at the breakdown for uh, not moving away. And here's Oak Bay looking desperately to put a few plat passes together. And there's some promising stuff and a good offload. It just that, and that's just what set them back, just uh, in the tackle, losing the ball. And uh, it's such a tough game when you're on defense for the, the majority of the game. And a great chance for Smooth. They've re-rigged re their uh, Noni was playing at uh, loosehead prop in the first half. She's now in the first receiver position at fly half. Got Fernanda Osio in for Smoo at the moment, number five. Noni around, nice move on the outside. There's a pass, beautiful give on the two on one. Kessler on her way and and reaches the line. Fantastic try. Again, simple off the scrum. Nice little swerve by None on the outside. And then just draw and give. And Smoo away to register their sixth score. And we're a minute and a half into the second half. Conversion is no good. Uh, takes the score to SMU 34, and Oak Bay still looking for their first points. This is part of today. This is the middle of three games between the two schools. Earlier in action at St. Michael's University School, the SMUS junior boys registered a victory over Oak Bay in a very fast and exciting, well-played match. 
Long kickoff. And Oak Bay on the charge. Uh, Smooth chasing hard. And Oak Bay just now we just got to get the ball back. Beautifully presented. Nice clean out. Try to move that ball away. And there's Smooth diving over the top. Looks like number two. Penalized for going off her feet over the over the ball. Back 10. Beautiful footwork by Oak Bay. And there's a lovely pass. Best pass of the day. This could be number one coming up here. Looks like number four. Georgia tie. And that is the first points for Oak Bay. And it was a gem of a try. Top penalty. Beautiful step. Lovely timing of the pass. And Ty takes it in from 60 meters. Put Oak Bay on the scoreboard. And unsuccessful to adding the extras. But a very encouraging piece of play. Three minutes into the second half. And again, it just shows the value, just the accuracy there from Oak Bay. It was great to see. A lot of errors in the first half, possibly a bit of nerves. And sorted beautifully there. Quick tap, and now Oak Bay's chance to win the restart. It has to go 10. It hasn't. Under the rules, it's a free kick now for SMU. Oak Bay has to go back 10. Again, the basics, so important. Get those right. Free kick to Smoot. Marbella on the on the charge. There's Nona, lovely pass outside. Oh, but smooth this time spills it, and no advantage to Oak Bay. We'll come back for the scrum. Receiver maybe just looking up, saw a bit of open field in front. Just took her eye off the ball just for a split second. Four minutes into the second half, smooth 36 and Oak Bay five. T try scorer tie putting the ball into the scrum now he just wants to get it away quickly if possible get, get that ball back oh it's a good little nudge by smooth and they win it on the they win it fernanda osio great step in the power sprinting away and in from 40 meters super individual score after the st michael's university school scrum managed to win it the ball against the head wonderful Piece of running by Osio. And she takes the score, takes smooth past 40 points. Lots of changes looking like for Oak Bay. Can't add the conversion. Five minutes into the second half, SMU has 41 and Oak Bay five. Now the onus shifts back onto Oak Bay, receiving the restart and Will they be able to ensure a clean catch, be able to start with some possession? So Sophie Happy coming up to take the kickoff. That's okay, that'll play. It bounces up nicely, picked up. And here goes Marty Robinson. Oh, brilliant run and a great, and an absolutely fantastic offload. Could be number two for Oak Bay, chasing hard is Smoo. And there's, oh, great offload, one more. And another one. That is the maybe the try of the afternoon. Fantastic. Oak Bay offloading beautifully to record their second score. Players refusing to die with the ball. And we just get the quick spin. It's number two for Oak Bay, Brenda Garcia, finishing off a fantastic Oak Bay score. Beautiful step by Marley Robinson at midfield area and a couple of really sweet offloads. Conversion no good. But as we near full time, as we near the end of the second period, Oak Bay, second try of the day, bringing the score to 41-10. And they'll be keen to see if they can just get their hands on the ball and register one more. Excellent play there by Robinson. Smoo on the uh, 
Very good tackle by Robinson, but lovely hands. Lovely hands there shown by number six, Hill Hughes. Clean ruck for Smoo. Cleanly won. Oh, and it's picked off. Running the gap is Oak Bay. Does she have the gas? Oh, Hill Hughes, a tremendous cover tackle. Great offload. And Robinson in for Oak Bay's third. Superb. Superb piece of play. Interception by Oak Bay at the halfway line. On the charge, great cover tackle back by Smoo, but ball carrier popping the ball up to Robinson as she stormed through and under the sticks for Oak Bay's third. As the clock ticks down to a few seconds left, conversion no good. SMUS 41 and Oak Bay 15. So we'll be staying tuned at the end of the game for presentations of the Robinson Cup, newly minted uh, for competition between the girls seven sides from the two schools. Uh, it'll be Smooth taking the honors this year, retaining the cup, but what a fine fight back in the second half from, from Oak Bay. Hill Hughes, great tackle by Oak Bay, but recycled nicely by by Smoo, and there's a, the pass out of contact. Oak Bay ref plays on here, keeping the ball. And it looks like a penalty for holding on. Little penalty, right? Oak Bay not releasing the ball. Oak Bay takes a quick tap. Hill Hughes on the, on the charge. Nice little offload. There looks to be a bit of a gap. Great tackle by Garcia. And a great counter ruck, but the ball pops to Smoo. Possibly with the angle. And yes, Smoo romping in for try number eight. Excellent work at the tackle area. And Smoo moving up to 46 points. And the conversion pops over 48 to 15. And that is looking like your final score for this evening. Uh, possibly mooted that uh, there was going to be an extra period, but it looks like they've extended. They played eight minute halves, and it looks like that'll be the, the, the finish at uh, 48 points to 15. The teams are gathering uh, in its own way, a comprehensive win for, for SMU but a very gallant second half by Oak Bay. That's it from tonight here at Centennial Stadium, SMUS 48 and Oak Bay 15. I first learned that I love making videos when I started volunteering with Shaw Spotlighting. Now I make my own videos and I can share them with my local community on TV as well as online. It's a whole new audience for me and it's a great way to promote what I do with Shaw Spotlight. We used an eight millimeter camera to film. We'd make a lot of horror movies or science fiction. We didn't really have a plan or anything. We just kind of did it. So I think the film just gives an excuse to build props and stuff too. So it kind of drove us. I think Greg was talking about a lightsaber or something. And I just happened to have a whole bunch of parts from something, a machine I'd taken apart or something. And I just decided to throw one together. You know, it was quite pleasing to hold and stuff, and I gave that to him, and it just, I guess it just flicked the switch. <laughs> so I just went and made like 10 of them. But after I built that first lightsaber and came back and saw, you know, seven looking back, and I was like, like, he just took it and completely perfected it. And then just started coming up with everything. I seem to have a knack on building things, so <laughs> other junk. Nicole had mentioned previously that she wasn't really into doing the traditional maternity shoot. She was more interested in just getting the baby shots done. Todd asked me, so what do you think about doing kind of like a spoof maternity? I said, yeah, no problem, I'd be down for that. I wanted to tell a story. I wanted to make people laugh, but I wanted to do it in, in Halloween style, so we had to incorporate some horror into it. I happened to come across a one-to-one uh, -one scale model of a chest burster at a garage sale this summer. I do a lot of garage sailing. He brought it home and he was like, what if we did like... Ah! Immediately I had like a sheer sense of panic. Like, what do you mean it's gone viral? I thought this is just kind of a spoof for our friends.
I've always loved music and I love video. Thanks to Shaw Spotlight, I have my own show profiling local bands. I'm loving it and so are they. I want to say congratulations to both teams. To Oak Bay. A very good fight back in the second half. Uh, and really, really fine tries uh, to be scored. Uh, we couldn't be couldn't do better tonight. Than, we've got a lot of special guests. We've got the commissioner of BC Schools Rugby, uh, Walter Van Halst. But we also have three members of the Canada Seven squad who played so spectacularly well last weekend in, at the Vancouver Sevens. Uh, we've got Mike Fulafal, a smooth grad, Luke McCloskey, a smooth grad, and Connor Braid and Oak Bay grad so the both schools very well represented uh, in, in in the event last week and on, and on the seventh circuit for several years and uh, tonight special because uh, we're able to ask uh, Luke McCloskey to come and present the Robinson Cup and he's able to present it to his sister uh, Kenzie Farish <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, players of both teams, and let's stay, get ready for the uh, the uh, senior boys game, which is going to follow in a few minutes. Thank you very much.